What's up? It's sign time. It's been a while since I've posted a video. That's because of stuff that has been going on at home. But I'm not really going to get into that. But what I will get into is today's video topic. If you've seen from the thumbnail and title, we are going to be talking about some more Dragon Ball Z you know, multiverse. But we're going to be specifically touching upon the topic of deities. So we're going to be making this series of videos where we dive deep into the things that a lot of people might not know about Dragon Ball Z the Multiverse and explain them. Now, Dragon Ball Z the Multiverse, as of late, hasn't really been up. It's uh, actually closed for maintenance right now, where only the testers and people, you know, who have that type of access can play. But when it is out, you know, this information obviously can be used, and it, it, this should, information should, should always be able to be used, because nothing about this should ever really change, right? Now, before we get into this, uh, please tell me some other things that you would want me to play, because I see like Dragon Ball Z no Multiverse, I love the game, but you know, it always seems to have like an issue every now and then, the updates always come really late and everything, so you know, if you guys are interested in anything else that I can go over, please do tell me, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, also I'm getting ready to set up my second channel, so check that out when uh, I'm finished with that. That being said, let's get on to the video. Alright, so starting it off with the first video in the series, we're gonna be, as I said, going over the Kais. Now, I'm not talking about like a King Kai, Grand Kai, Elder Kai, I'm talking about a Supreme Kai. And so, there, each universe has this, each of the realms usually have them as well, and the Kais are very important in the hierarchy, they're also the weakest. Now, Kais are not at all like they are in the anime, manga, or anything like that in this game, Kai's are extremely overpowered, and probably going to be stronger than literally everyone in their universe. Now, listen here. Kai's are not just powerful. Kai's are given, obviously, their own race, their own clothes, and their own set passives and abilities. Now, I'm going to be talking to you about these abilities, their appearance, how you can find them, how you can maybe potentially in the future become a student, because that's still a possibility, and how to fight one, defeat them, stuff like that. So, let's go over that real quick. So, when you see a Kai, be respectful because if you're just being a piece of trash, they're probably just going to destroy you, like, just immediately. They can probably one-tap you because of how strong they are, so keep that in mind. But it's very likely that they're going to have Potara earrings, so they're going to be able to have Potara fusion unknown if they'll be able to give out Potara, so that is not confirmed yet, but if they are, then I'd recommend trying to become a student so that you can get the better fusion, you know? Now, they also are going to get Kai Kai, but Kai Kai isn't going to work like how you probably think it would, so if there's instant transmission in the game, that works fine. Kai Kai is not going to be like instant transmission. Kai Kai is just going to teleport them to the realm of Kai's. I, I said Kai's. I'm not editing that out. It's going to teleport them to the realm of Kai's, their God of Destruction's planet, and maybe even any planet. Basically, they can they have fast travel at all times as a skill. Now they can also heal in combat, which is very good. Actually, a f I think a few races might have this ability, but theirs is like the best, right? And they also have infinite stamina. So, yeah, they can they can literally just get out of your attack every single time. Now it sounds really hard to fight. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get on to that later, okay? We'll get, we'll get on to that later. Obviously, they have a higher key, and they actually have magic, so they can heal you to full HP. Like anyone else. They can, they can literally heal anyone else to full HP. Which is pretty crazy when you really think about that. Like, let's say, for whatever reason, a guy is jumping someone with you, right? And you get knocked out by the guy you're jumping. He, he just heals you full HP, you're good to go. Just like that. Literally just like that. It's pretty crazy. In the future, um, Kai's are actually probably going to be lifelinked to their Gods of Destruction. So, any, like, new Gods of Destructions that might be watching this video, make sure you pick a good Kai. Make sure that you vouch for whoever you are, um, the Grand Peace Priestess at the time, that you get a good one, because you do not want a sucky one. If he dies, you die, you both lose everything, yeah, you know, it's just, it's just not worth it. Now, in the future, Kai's might actually get students, as I was hinting at earlier, they also might get their own transformation. Kai's are, you know, I, I don't really have a good way to explain 
guys inside of like the daddy rankings but i mean they're pretty important they're really more meant for support as you could probably guess but uh overall they're basically just like boosted mortals which is basically what every rank is but you know it's cool they get their own little race and everything now i'm saying this because obviously there's some people who are going to want to become kai's now here's what i have to say to you don't even try it okay there's a lot of reasons why so first of all you got to make sure that you're even active so that you don't get demoted like on the spot and in conjunction probably banned or blacklisted uh you have to take care of like an entire universe server so if you already suck at just using discord in general just don't even try it uh, people are already going to have the spot, so you're going to have to wait for that a spot to open up in the first place. And it's just like, uh, this spot is just not meant for a lot of people. A lot of these people, like, oh man, I can't, I can't even tell you half these people. If you are one of those people that I'm talking about, that I'm not really explaining on, you know who you are. You are a piece of trash. Okay? Now, with these Kai's. They are probably going to be around their god destructions a lot, but actually, you know, a lot of the Kai's don't actually hop in the game, really. But, in case a Kai does hop in the game, let me tell you ways that you could maybe fight the Kai a little bit. I mean, they're probably still going to one-shot you, but here are some good countermeasures that you can take, maybe if you like see them in like a game mode or limitations are on or something. Something that you can use to take advantage of them. Now, as I said before, Kai's have infinite stamina, meaning that they can use Zanzo can they can spam it, right? They have passive healing while in combat, too. So, you really gotta account for that. Um, you, when you're fighting them, you're really not gonna want to use any stamina breaks, because that's not gonna do anything. Your stamina breaks are literally useless. What you really want to use are fast attacks that deal a lot of knockback and stun attacks. That's what you want to use to fight them. And here's why. Look, if you're stunning them, they can't Zanto can out of that. Unless it's like one of the nerfed stuns, which they're completely useless. Don't use nerfed stuns, those suck. And with the knockback, it's the same thing. They, they can't Zanto can a knockback. Especially if it has a lot of knockback, like one of the moves that keep them in place for a while, even when they try to press the recovery button. Yeah, dude, you're gonna be able to get a few moves in on them with that. And not only that, the fast moves are good because then you can follow up easily and you can keep going at them, and it'll eventually overpower their health regen. I mean, think about it, right? It's pretty smart. And with the fight, as far as fighting style goes, I don't really look up on the fighting styles. But uh, don't use fighting styles that mainly prioritize uh, stamina breaks. Or even have a lot of hits in the combo. Just prioritize them if they have less hits. Because, uh, you know, having more hits isn't going to really do that much more damage, I don't think. They, like, do the even amount. They all add up to, like, even amounts, I'm pretty sure. So just use a combo with less hits in it and you won't probably have to worry about them as Kenny as much and you probably i feel like you're going to get more damage into uh i mean oh man there's going to be a tons of ways to do this so when the next update comes out which is the namek update with the frieza skills because those are definitely speed oriented either way now that's all i really had to speak about on kai i don't think i really got anything else to say that would really give you any more information so yeah man uh, that's the video uh, look forward to the next one. We're going to be doing Gods of Destructions next, and I feel like I can give a lot more information on that. With that being said, please do make sure to subscribe if you like videos like these. You want to see more content, more content in general. If you like my commentary, tell me because I think my commentary sucks personally. But yeah, leave a like maybe if you like these. Uh, yeah, man, sign time out.